I've just bought my first offering on the property. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I realised I never actually did a proper introduction to this vlog. Long story short, what happened was I was originally looking at renting a property. Properties kept falling through. Um, I was losing like the offers, like someone else would snap it up first or they'd be in a better position or whatever. This property, I was like, okay, cool. I'm just going to put my deposit down. Like there was accepting deposits without like viewing. Because some estate agents don't really accept that. We're ready to move in. I was moving in like two weeks from set date and this would have been December 2022. All of a sudden the message has been talking about, oh, there's been a leak in the property. Now the landlord wants to sell the property. So I'm like, here's your deposit back. It's finito. And I was like, what the <laughs> However... That whole process of trying to find an apartment lasted so long. It was a good year, like, that I was looking for apartments on and off. It wasn't, like, a consistent thing every week, but it was a good year. By then, I'd saved enough to start considering buying a house. So I contacted the mortgage broker that I spoke to, like, a year prior, and he basically just gave me the 411 on um, what situation I'd be in. That moved qu pretty quickly. And so what you're going to see now is me doing my viewings. And there wasn't very many of them, I will say that. But I'll proceed to tell you why later. Take the third exit onto Harborn Lane. Okay. No, no, no. You can just take your, your time and do it. Like, the amount of people I know that have lived in their houses yeah. while doing it all. Yeah. It's not impossible. So, it's going to stay though. Oh, there's an M thing somewhere, you know. Oh, in that a quarter of a mile, yeah. keep left onto Harborn Lane. It's all right for now. So, day one of house viewing. How is it going? So, I tried to book in free viewing. So I tried to book in. First of all, I was late. I wasn't late to the viewing, but I was late in life. So I look a bit, look a bit crusty. But I tried to dress um, a bit appropriate. I don't know if you noticed. Well, I did see, you, and then <laughs> I was going to try and dress up a little bit, oh and I put tracksuits on because I was. <laughs> That's the worst type of dress you could have worn today. <laughs> totally. no, I'm but um. Yeah, I thought I'd dress a little professional, but you make me look better. So it's alright. <laughs> you made me look even more professional. Um, so the first viewing, anyway, was a bit of a shambles. One thing I will say is purple bricks are ridiculous. And if you're thinking of buying a house or Use selling the left it, if thinking of selling a house, avoid purple bricks at all costs. I did know that from when I used to work at the estate agent. The estate agent knowledge is also helping me in this process, 100%. But they're just a terrible agency. Like, they're just terrible. Long story short, I did it on nine, and then I got a confirmation like, yeah, your book booking's been, your viewing's been booked for X day, um, and it's with X agent at this time. Great confirmation. Continue on to Quinton Road. And then when I get to the property, there's no agent to be seen. I'm standing outside the property, and this this guy is just like in his car, like kept looking over. I'm thinking maybe he's thinking, why is this girl moving to my area? God, oh my god. <laughs> probably thinking that that's not gonna work so it's probably thinking why is this in girl three quarters area? of a mile turn left onto northfield road <laughs> probably thinking why is this girl moving to my area um eventually after a good five minutes i'm trying to call pepper at the same time and they're literally the voice is saying due to staff training we can't pick up the phone and i'm just like are you taking the mick staff training you must go online to book a viewing i've already booked the viewing and the agent isn't here so anyways i'm outside and i'm like oh what do i do it's bloody pouring it down my brain i don't drive my sister was supposed to be we we're supposed to be going together she was late. It's about to go on my own, but she's gonna meet me there. She's not there yet. It's raining. All I've got is to like stand on this man's door for shelter, and he's watching me. So, anyways, he comes out, whatever, and he's like, "Oh, they didn't tell us." So I'm like, "I'm here for you." He's like, "They didn't tell us," and I was like, "Oh my days!" So I'm like, "Can I still view it, please?" And then he's like, "You can view downstairs, but my son's sleeping upstairs, and we're not going upstairs, basically." Um, and it was a bit standoffish at first, but. I used my little my little tactics as a little in. I said, have you had much problems with Purple Bricks knowing that they're a terrible company from when I used to work at the estate agent? And he was like, yep, they've been terrible. Blah, 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 blah. And that was my in. So I was like, oh, can we just view downstairs? Like, is, is that all right if we just still view? And he's like, yeah, can we downstairs? We're in the house for a good 25 minutes, just chatting, chatting, chatting off. Um, he was telling me a bit about the area. Long story short, the property wasn't for me, but it was a really nice property. What put me up is the area. The area is just very like, Everything's just very so <laughs> area's not for me but the house had a new kitchen it was like the downstairs was quite nice um it also had a loft conversion which i really like because ideally i want a three bed i can deal with a two bed but i prefer a three bed um or i can do a two bed and a, a loft conversion because what i'm finding is when looking online it could be a, um, a three bed technically left onto northfield road 
it could be a three bed technically because it's a loft conversion but it will still be down on right move or whatever as a two bed so i'm being sure not to like bypass those in case it's got like a sneaky room that they're not including i don't know why they don't class it as a bedroom um but yeah so we're on the way to the second viewing this one is three beds but it's far. in half a mile at the roundabout take the second bicycle? exit onto stonehouse funny enough they'll tell you that when i called the agent i was speaking to like, the head of like the canals in this area and he was like oh so like do you know the area very well and i was like yeah what school they was like oh what school did you go to so if you won't discuss that we'll just skip past that and he was like was it hillcrest <laughs> <laughs> he was like was it hillcrest i was like oh it was he was like oh my wife went there so the proper little chin wag um so i've got it's, the viewings with him as well so it'll be you'll see how like quirky he is um but the, as we're driving, we're driving and driving and driving, and it, it's just, it's, we're driving too much. We've got another five minutes to go. Not so the miles. location for this one is already a no for me, I'm afraid. And yeah, but now we're, going, we're, going, we're still going. We're going At the roundabout, take the second exit onto Stonehouse Lane. So yeah, the location already is a no. Um, it's unlikely to sway me, whatever the house, and the house is old fashioned. I'm trying not to look at the um, state of the houses though, and just look at like, you know, the space and what I can do with it. Um, but yeah, regardless, it's educational. It's been educational just knowing what I am looking for, what I'm not. Um, and actually going to the viewings and viewing like the area is important as well. More important than I realized. Cause the last one, the location distance wise was pretty good. Um, but in real life, um, it's just not an area for me. But yeah, um, I don't know how I feel about it. About, about like looking for a house, it's really weird. Because obviously I've been to houses and I've been to viewings, I've attended viewings, like when I used to work at the estate agent, but obviously from a different perspective and it's just, it's completely different. It's just really weird. So we just viewed the second property with our little assistant here. And, um, oh, look at her. Um, and it was beautiful. Oh my God, it was so nice. I'm in love. I actually love it. But the problem is, it's so far. The location's bad and there's a few other little things like it's non-standard construction which means that it's not made of typical building materials but other than that the house is so nice like i actually love the house i love even love the area in terms of like it's in like a little cul-de-sac parking's not an issue parking's great it feels like you know you won't get too many people around here that don't need to be here because it's again it's in a cul-de-sac and the house is just so nice. It's very old fashioned. It's very extremely, extremely dated, but it's so easy to like, it's very cosmetic. So it's so it easy is, to bring just, it back yeah. up to scratch. Very simple to bring it back up. Low, um, sorry, the size is quite nice. The kitchen, the kitchen's bigger than the living room, which is a bit weird. Yeah. It's not huge. It's but like it's, a kitchen diner. Yeah, it's a kitchen diner. It is a kitchen diner. Um, and then the living room is very small. If I'm honest, the living room it's is small. It's quite small, but enough space. It's enough space. Everybody pile in, man. Yeah. Sit on the floor. <laughs> Personally, I, I don't think it's that small, but it's not. I wouldn't say it's majorly small. It's definitely doable because you can fit like a two seater, three seater, and your coffee table in there easily. Maybe even a day. single chair as well. I don't know about all that. It's kind of small. It, it is kind of small. Depends on how you set it up. But it definitely can fit like a three seater and two seater and a coffee table comfortably. What did it have two two seaters in there? Yeah, it had like two two seaters or two or two and a three or something like that. It was so nice. And it had this, uh, this the, the one feature. I don't even know if I want to say. Should I say? I'll say in case I don't. It had the biggest window. It was literally like a floor to ceiling window in the living room, in the small living room. Half the, the whole wall Half, on yeah, one side a was a window. And it was just so bright and airy. And onto the, the garden's quite a small, intimate garden, I would say. But it's pretty. It's got like a little step to get onto the grass bit. Like it's, it's like a, a little level and then a pay pack. Oh, it's I can see a barbecue set up there. I can see paddling pool for the kids up there. It's so nice. And it's just like, if you, yeah, it's just, it's just nice. And because there's quite a lot of trees around surrounding the gardens, it feels quite private. It's just really nice. I can't believe it. It's so nice. And it's a good price. Very good price. It's, nice. <laughs> it's within good my budget. Price. It's just the location is a bit wild. Mm. Um, and because it's it's more of an investment for me, I will live there, but it is more of a long-term investment, I think. It does affect, one, the non-standard construction affects that, could affect that, and two, the location might affect that. So it's like, there's a lot to weigh up. But in terms of living there, if it was just to live there, there'd be no discussion needed. 
Why do you hate Miller? United. You want to play at He did house? eyebrows. He did eyebrows. You want to play at Auntie's house? You want to play in the garden with the dog? Yeah, he's, he's allergic. <laughs> oh, what if he is? What he what might be. You? <laughs> you might be in it. You might be no, because my dog's going to have hair, like human hair first. Oh. It's going to be one of them ones. So you'll be fine. You'll be, be fine. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. But anyways, later today, I haven't even got a mortgage in principle. So here's me talking about putting an offer. Mm -hmm. Do you think I've got a mortgage in principle? This evening, um, my my mortgage broker is going to call me and then we're going to get me all set up and start that ball rolling for the mortgage in principle. Fingers crossed. <sighs> Exciting time. I would absolutely love to be on here looking cute and um, more put together than this. But at the same time, I've just put my first offer in on the property. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. It's not going to be accepted. It absolutely isn't. It's the cheekiest offer ever. But, like, I've done it. On top of that, I just want to give you a bit of an update. Do you know what? I'm not going to do the update. I'm going to I'm gonna wait till I'm a bit cuter. But just in case I don't have that moment, I received my mortgage in principal this morning and I didn't know how to act. I was like, Ugh. Like, I did, I did well up a little bit, just tiny bit. I didn't really cry. It was just a little, you know, just a little... Um, but a whole mortgage and principal with like my name on it and like having worked at an estate agent previously I've seen a few mortgage and principals I've seen a few proof of deposits and I back when I first started I was thinking like can you imagine all that like that amount of money being in my account like I just can't imagine it but now it's me like I have my deposit and I just I just can't believe it like I actually have a mortgage and principal I just can't believe I'm so close to owning a house and I secretly have this kind of like goal of doing it before 25 like I really want to be a homeowner before I turn 25 I turn 25 in August and it's just for reference it is currently the 30th of March no 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 April March it's currently the 30th of March I received my mortgage in principal this morning and I put in enough for this afternoon and I just can't believe it